Hello everybody, this is Chuck Wieger, Area State Senator. Thanks for viewing. Today I'm so happy that we're going to be talking about the Bruntrup Historical Farm. It's in Maplewood. It's a farm that has been with us for many decades and through the efforts of many volunteers it was able to be relocated uh, and we're going to visit with Mike Erickson of Maplewood and with Calvin Malumba who yep. who is originally from Uganda and is now uh, working at the farm. So uh, look very forward to your journey from Uganda to working at the farm. But uh, first for background, um, Mike Erickson, you're on the board of uh, directors for the uh, Bruntrup Farm. So tell us a, a little bit about the background. Happy to, uh, Chuck. First off, it's great to be here and great to be here with our uh, colleague Calvin, who keeps an eye on things as our caretaker there. Um, this project actually goes back 20 years, Chuck, as you remember. Yes. I was with the city of Maplewood at the time, and we worked with you to get the initial funds to uh, move the farm from the uh, uh, White Bear Avenue site over to the County Road D site. So a full 20 years ago. And who would have uh, known what it took to move it, let alone today uh, being the home of the Maplewood uh, Historical Society and the number of community events that we uh, do on the farm in coordination with the city. Great. And uh, we, we have uh, just a couple of pictures that we might yeah. want to reference. and. I know this is a picture with... This is 20 years ago. This is you, Chuck. Thank you very much. Our mayor at the time, George Rossbach, uh, Char Waslick, our, one of our key members uh, to preserve the farm, and then, of course, Carolyn Peterson, a longtime uh, Parks and Rec Commission members. Without the help of our dear friends and our former mayor, and certainly, Chuck, 20 years ago, it, it well, wouldn't thank have you. happened. We are just yeah, there so was grateful. legislation. Actually, we had a town meeting. Betty McCollum, who was the yes. state rep, we had a town meeting, and... The farm was going to be leveled it was, uh, it, yeah. you know, it, to make room for additional development yep. on uh, Wiper Avenue, yep. and the Bruntrup stepped forward, uh, and and uh, you know Bill Bruntrup and you know others Radio, in the family yep. saying that uh, you know we'll help in relocating, but you know, we can't afford all of it. So there was a matching grant. Uh, I was. believe that we ended up with about a hundred thousand yep. dollars. But uh, the volunteers like yep. yourself and others, you mentioned Cher Waslick and. Uh, just many people, but uh, you know, uh, former Mayor Rosbeck was uh, one of those key leaders down here, always uh, with the uh, buttons and yep. reminding people yep. about preserving the farm. Yep. And so there's other pictures of the farm, and we we all remember the day when it was being. Uh, Relocated. Yes. Uh, Simple movers from St. Paul. Yeah, we had to put it on a big uh, lift, <laughs> lift it up, and then it was transported, uh, how, I don't know, about uh, a half uh, a mile? Uh, yeah, it's about a half a mile away, but uh, it was a big yeah. deal. We worked with our trade unions, and, and, and when we get into Calvin, Calvin's an, an apprentice electrician, but we worked with our trade unions to uh, prep the site and then ultimately restore uh, the farmhouse with our plumbers, our carpenters. And sample movers just did a fantastic job yeah. of, uh, of moving a, a barn and a farmhouse and some of the outbuildings. Good. Well, we're going to go back yep. to a picture. I believe that might be Kelvin it working. Is. But Kelvin, you yep. are from Uganda. And yep. how did this all occur where you're now in Maplewood being a very important part of the Bruntrup Farm? Uh, tell us about that journey from Uganda to Maplewood. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm one person who feels like every time I want to learn something, uh, it happened like one day I say like, what am I adding on my brain? Like, no, I need to step out. I look for something to do, even though it's not going to be paying me, but I need to add something on my brain. Mm -hmm. So I end up getting up to those red buildings and I ask them, would you like me to help you do out something? I haven't got anything to do right now. I don't have my papers in press, but I can go ahead and volunteer. Yes. So I started volunteering. Yeah. Here, this is me doing scraping and painting the farm. And you had uh, yeah. gotten to know the Bruntrups. Yes, that's how I got to know Bill right there. And Raydell. And you're very close to them. Yes. 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 They oh. are my folks now. Yeah. Yes, they're yeah, just they're like parents in a way. Right. I mean, because I, 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 Bill couldn't be with us today. You were at the Capitol earlier with them. And 
right. could see the very close bond right. in love that, uh, so with them. And so people. you got to know the Bruntrups and, yeah. and you, you're, you're working, you're, you're at the farm. Yep. You know, now uh, helping that legacy continue. Yep. Uh, you, you mentioned about the, you know, the, the papers and the context of your wanting to be an electrician. Yep. And you're yep. going to school. Yes. For this, so you know, tell us about uh, that journey for, you know, what you're working on. You're getting hands-on experience here at the farm, but uh, you know, what is your dream in terms of uh, your career here? My dream is to become a master electrician. Yes. That's my dream. And that's my goal. And you will be. Thank you. Yeah. I believe. Okay. So right now, uh, I work at the airport with Premier Electric yes. on a silver ramp. That big ramp, which is going to be the, one of the biggest ramps in America. Yes. So we are working on those electric buildings. Mm -hmm. But uh, initially, I was a teacher by profession, way back in Africa. Back, back in Uganda. Yes. Yeah, a teacher. But, yes, but when I came here, I felt like, no, I want something practical, something which is gonna build my brain, something skilled, whereby at least I will add on something every day on my brain. And this is construction. And Kelvin, many times people will come to America for freedom, yeah. for opportunity, yeah. Is that what motivated you? Yes. Uh, it, it, why, why did you leave Uganda? Uh, to catch up my dream. I felt like I wanted to progress. Yeah. I wanted something new in my head. Okay. I wanted to prosper. Yes. Where I come from, it's a different world. Yeah. Here, people, they get a lot of opportunities. Yes. And I believe if you are, your eyes are open, you can get those opportunities yes by the help of some other people yes cuz like somebody has to help you open that door then you get in okay that's what bill and right now did in my life yeah. and i appreciate that how did that connection yeah. take place uh, that a, a very important part of your journey and i think they would say for them too uh, but how did you connect with the bruntrups uh, i connected with the bruntrups through the farm one day he just came to volunteer. Yep. It was there and he thought, okay. on his own, yeah. can I volunteer out of the blue? And the rest is history. And Bill and Raydell took him uh, into their home and everything. It's the great American story about introducing him to the right people, everything. And uh, they are just wonderful, uh, wonderful people. And Calvin's given back now. Is he lives there? He's our officially. He's our caretaker. Yes. He's our eyes and ears. He's there every day. He uh, does a great job, and then he uh, helps out with our activities and things that that go on. He's a fixture at the farm. Okay. Everybody knows who he is. And uh, you're used to our weather, our snow. <laughs> I love it. I love snow. Yeah. yeah. But I hate cold. Okay. <laughs> and how's the how we have a lot of roofs at the Capitol, actually. We've had to look at uh, some emergency uh, loan funds for dairy farms. This was a dairy farm. It was, yes. And uh, there's been a lot of work on the roof for this yes. farm. But uh, how's the roof holding out? Uh, you know, with all the snow and the freezing and the melt, uh, is is the barn holding up? Yeah, it is. It is. We're trying to maintain it. Okay. We're trying to keep well, it's a big in challenge. good shape. Yeah. 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 It's good. It's all good. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, and there's a lot of activities uh, that uh, you can do at the farm. I mean, you you could uh, you know learn about the history of Maplewood, yep. uh, various uh, you know, parts about the the agriculture impact for the community. Uh, you can go to celebrations. You could get married uh, yes. you, uh, there if you want. Uh, but maybe a, a yeah, few things a great, about it's that. It's a great place. It's a great partnership with the city of Maplewood Park and Rec uh, folks. Uh, we hosted a first ever Boo Bash. That was clearly our biggest event. Boo Bash. Uh, Boo Bash. We had 1,500 uh, yeah. uh, uh, children and uh, uh, moms and dads that came out. Wow. Uh, yeah. Great partnership uh, with the city. We host movie night. We have... Uh, Farm to table, so we have a, a curriculum uh, that we teach uh, children. We, of course, and Chuck, you've been, been at so many of our events, Johnny Appleseed Day, yes, Dairy yes. Day, uh, and then you talked about it. Yes, we, we uh, host a number of uh, weddings there uh, yeah. during the 
uh, during the year. And then uh, for our seventh year now, uh, we host on Wednesday nights, we partner with seven area local churches. Mm -hmm. We have a, a service there, and then we bring them into the barn. And so it's a great way. When is that? On uh, Wednesday uh, nights? On Wednesday nights, yeah. Okay. And we, uh, we provide a dinner for them, and then uh, we have the service in the, in the barn, and it's a great, great way, a good ecumenical uh, service for our area churches. And again, Calvin's at all yeah. these events as well. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm pretty proud of it. And uh, there's a website or information of, for viewers that want to get more information about the barn tour? www.maplewoodhistoricalsociety.com or go to the city of Maplewood's uh, website as well at www.ci.maplewood.gov. Good. And Calvin Malumba, what might be your favorite uh, tasks that you're doing at the at the uh, Brun Trip Farm. Is there a particular duty that you enjoy doing the most, or because um, it's it's a lot of hard work too. I know you thrive on it, but uh, and then you're managing, uh, you know, getting your license as a master electrician. But what do you like doing most there? Uh, I would say everything. Yeah. Okay. Everything. Because like you know, I love communicating with people. That improves my communication skills, and I love to help. I love to help. I love to engage myself in something so that I can learn more. Yes. I remember the days when I used to scrape, to yeah. sand. Yeah. Yep. It was my first experience. Yep. And I felt like I really love this thing. Yes. Up to now, I feel like I can't wait. In summer, we're going to do the same. Yes. I can't wait. Yep. Great. Yeah. Well, we're so happy that uh, you're. Um, part of the Brun Trip Farm that uh, you, you uh, Bill Raydell, were able to connect and that it will be a lifelong bond, I know. And uh, you know, we wish you continued success. Uh, any words you'd like to share for Bill and Raydell and others uh, about your experience? And our president, Bob Jensen, has done an and outstanding Bob job. Jensen, well, uh, the whole board, but yes, and Bob, I, uh, you know, big yeah. shout out for his yes, efforts. Absolutely, yeah. But what, anything you'd like to I would say share with the uh, with the with the Brun trips. Yeah. Okay. I would say uh, all what I wish is I love them. Oh. Yeah. I so, love them. Well. Yep. That's what I got in my mind and in my head. I love these folks. Okay. They got me from nowhere. Now I'm somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I'm somewhere. <laughs> well. Yeah. I appreciate well, their work. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your ambition, your drive, your spirit, your hope, your smile, and uh, may many more people have a chance to meet you uh, on your journey when they uh, visit the farm the next time they have a chance. All right, yeah. Great. Yeah. Calvin Maloma, thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to our Senator community. Jeff. We wish you continued success in your journey. It thank will you, Mike. be a very it. bright future for you. Thank you. And thanks, Mike, Jack. Thanks, thanks for all, all that you're doing always. for Maplewood, no, and we go back a long we'll way, do Jack. that. Thank you for your leadership and all you do for uh, the citizens of Maplewood. Thank you. And viewers, if you'd like to learn more about the uh, Bruntrup Farm, uh, just stop over and visit. There's activities all the time, uh, all seasons. And you can visit the website as well if you'd like to drill in on a particular activity that you're looking at. If there's questions you have of me, give me a call. At the Capitol, it's 651-296-6820 or my cell. 651-770-0283. Thank you very much, Bill and Ray Dell Bruntrup, for sharing your legacy and for the impact that you've had on Calvin. See ya.